Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video. Today we're going to be looking at a Dialga Magnezo deck that ended up seeing play in Roanoke. I don't even know if I know if I spelled that right, but anyways, this is obviously not my list. This is another player's list, and I do want to give a special shout out to Joe Turrentine for sending me his list. I was really interested in this deck. Obviously, Dialga Magnezone is a really cool concept. I've always found Dialga to be fascinating. I was going to do a Dialga Steelix uh, deck, but uh, once I heard that this deck was seen play, I was like, all right, you know what? This has to be, this is going to be the Dialga video that I've been wanting to make since this card has been released. So Dialga Magnazone, and yes, again, I do want to give a shout out to Joe Turrentine for sending me his list exclusively. Um, I will link his YouTube and Twitter in the description down below. Make sure you guys go sub, make sure you guys go follow him. And uh, yeah, let's get straight into the deck list. So obviously it's a very straightforward deck. It's not as complicated as you may think. There's only two main attackers, Dialga and Dustmane Necrozma. So Dialga is one of the main attackers in this deck. This is a very cool card. It's got the attack turn back time, which for three energies, you do 60, and if your opponent's active Pokemon is an evolved Pokemon, de evolve it by putting the highest stage evolution card back in your opponent's hand. Now, this is a really good attack for multiple reasons. One, you one-shot a lot of stage 1s and stage 2 Pokemon. You immediately one-shot Gardevoir and Ninetales. Now, you don't get to take two prizes, but you still knock them out in one hit, which is really impressive. Um, you one-shot Gardevoir, you one-shot Ninetales, you can one-shot Zork GX, you can one-shot... Stuff like Lycanroc, since the 6 HP Rock Up is more common now, thanks to Elm. So, that's just to name a few of the Pokemon turn back time is going to knock out in one hit. So it's very scary. Dialga's got that 130 HP. Um, even in second attack can be good. Power Blast is 130, so you can one-shot Buzzwolves and Giratinas. So, this is a very solid card. Literally, because it's made of metal. No, but seriously. This is a very good card. I think it has a lot of potential. Um, and, again... Joe Turrentine played it with Magnezone, and of course Magnezone is how we're going to build up our energy. Dialga needing multiple energies to attack makes it a little clunky, uh, makes it hard to build up, makes it an easy target to pick off or get damage on before it gets attacking. So we're going to use Magnezone, Magnetic Circuit, Ozoff, and he's like, during your turn you may attach my energy card from your hand to one of your Pokemon. Obviously we're going to use his ability to just charge up our Dialga. Same thing with our other main attacker, Dustmane Necrozma. Dustmane Necrozma is in here for that Meteor Tempest attack. <clears throat> It hits like a truck, does 220 damage, one-shots everything, basically. Sun's Eclipse, same thing, one-shots everything. Uh, basically, one of the best metal attackers you can use at the moment if you're going to put Magnezone. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Just three main, like, Pokemon. Magnezone, Dustmane, Dialga, and just two main attackers. Um, not much else, and there's no, like, stack attackers, no Dialga GX, and I'm fine with that. This is a very straightforward, simple list, and sometimes simplicity is the way to go, you know. I like to build decks with tech cards and, you know, crazy stuff, but sometimes just playing it simple is the safest way to play, and as you can see, it's a very simple, straightforward list, and I like that. It's pretty awesome. And just two Lele's to round it out with Wonder Tag. We are playing four Magnemites. Now, um, Joe was not actually playing the, um, the other Magnemite with the ability to break from the bench, which is interesting considering Spread and Buzzle are a thing. Um... But I can see why you would want to play this. You do have Searching Magnet. Personally, I would probably play the other Magnemite with the ability to protect it from the bench. It can be really good against stuff like Ninetales and Buzzle and Coco. Uh, but whatever. And now we go into the items and the supporters. In a very straightforward line, we got three Acro Bikes. Great card to just search your deck for stuff like Thin Through. Four Nest Balls. You want to be guaranteed multiple Magnemites on turn one. Uh, you can play Elm, but you can't use Elm with Dialga or Dustmane. So it's not that great. Uh, four rare candies. Obviously, you want to guarantee the Magnezone. Four Ultra Balls to search for your Pokemon. Four copies of Mount Coronet. Very good card with metal decks that have the discard energy. You get the energy back in your hand, and then you reuse you Magnezone. Four Cynthias for draw. Uh, one Lily, and one Sightseer. So, a bit of a thinner line of, like, some of the draw cards, as you can see. Uh, one Lily. But there is some other supporters in here that make up for the lack of, like, draw supporters. Because once you kind of get the Magnezone line going, all you really need to do is just keep attacking every turn, and that's easy to do thanks to Fisherman, which obviously allows you to search Discard Pile for four basic energy cards, show them your pump in your hand. Another great way to just get energy in play. We're playing two copies of it, obviously. There's no, like, VSC or anything. 
Um, two Guzmas, of course, because you need Guzma. Now, we got two ladies in here. Another really interesting supporter card, allowing you to grab four basic energies. But this is really good. I mean, you get the Magna Zone in play. You do Lady. You get four medals. You Meteor Tempest. Or you do Turn Back Time Power Blast on that same turn. Seems like a good strategy. You know, you want to go Steven's Resolve Lady. So, Lady is another cool card in here. Um, and yeah, three Steven's Resolve. One of the most important pieces in this deck is Steven's Resolve. Basically guarantees you to get Magna Zone as long as you don't get Marsh Shadow, which could be an issue. I mean, if we play against Lost March, we're get, get, get me, bleh, I cannot speak today. We're gonna be guaranteed to get Marsh Shadowed. Um, judges a thing. So Steven Resolve can be risky, but if you Steven Resolve, you force your opponent to potentially have to judge you or Marsh Shadow you. Sometimes they don't want to do that. It's like, well, I can play this judge. So I can get rid of that Stevens, or I can play an Elm's Lecture. So you kind of see, or like a Lily, you kind of see how Steven Resolve can disrupt your opponent's like turn one. So there is some potential with Steven Resolve in this deck. Obviously, it just guarantees you a turn through Magna Zone. Uh, one Beast Energy for Dust Mane, really important for Meteor Tempest to one shot Deciduize and stuff, and 10 Metal Energies. And yeah, that's basically it for the list here. Once again, gotta give a special thank you for. Uh, hold on. Let me just pull up Twitter here. Yeah, for Joe Turntine for sending me this list. Shout out to you. And again, make sure you guys go sub to him. Um, and also make sure you guys check his Twitter out. Link in the description. Let's go find some games in the deck, have some fun, and show off Dialga, hopefully. Alright guys, let's go do some matches with the deck. See if we can have some fun. Hopefully we get to use a lot of Dialga and ooh. Alright. This is I I can't tell what the types is, but to me it almost looks like it's gonna be a Magnezone deck because the fairy might be, or it could be a Metagross deck, I guess we'll see. Um, oh, we got a Dialga start, which is good. Um, no turn one Magnemite, unfortunately. We do have Steven's Resolve, though, which is always a bonus. We'll see what we're up against. The Mulligan might. Okay, so it is like basically a mirror match, I guess. Like, I don't know. I guess it's a Solgaleo Ninetales deck, I guess, but the Mount Coronet it says otherwise, I don't know. But I mean, if he's playing that, we basically win because obviously turn back time. And all right, so we are going to not hit the Magnemite. That really sucks because we would have <laughs> had a pretty good turn here. <clears throat> I think what we'll do, we can put this down. I am tempted to do Lily here. I don't know. We'll play the Lele down. Yeah, it's either I, I could do Sightseer though too. I could draw a couple cards of Sightseer. Get rid of the metal energies. Mount Coronet's not going anywhere anytime soon. We still have like four. So either I go Sightseer or I go Lily. We're not going to draw that many cards with Lily. So maybe it's best to go Sightseer here. Like I could do Stevens, but I need to find Magnemite this turn. I have Rare Candy. Who knows? Like it may be tough to get out of this. I think we'll get rid of Metal and if we'll get rid of Fisherman. We already have two. There we go. They See, kids, this is why you hold on and you, you hope for the Magnemite. Okay, so, this is most likely, like, not a mirror match, but it's a very similar matchup. So we'll have to see how it goes. Interesting to note, Joe's List doesn't play uh, Ribombi, which is something very popular in these Magnezone lists, is that they play Ribombi. Because, obviously, you have that effect to get two energies, which is good. Now, here's the thing. I saw Dragon. Is that Dialga, or is that something like Ultra Necrozma? I guess we'll find out. Well, actually, it would be Dialga, because Ultra Necrozma needs Psychic to attack. Never mind. I was thinking that, but it's not... Yeah, it is. Okay, so we should be okay this matchup, though. I mean, Dialga's pretty good in this matchup, I think. Um, you know, trading one prize. We're not really doing insane damage, but the fact is, too, turn back time one-shots his main zones. That could be another win condition. We have our Dust Mains. It's gonna be a bit of a Dust Main war, I guess, but whatever. I think we'll be okay. All right, let's see what we draw. Okay, so we didn't find Magnezone, unfortunately. Well, he's got four cards. He didn't even do Lily, so I feel kind of safe that he won't get the knockout here. He could. Just to play a little cautious. I mean, my hand is good enough anyways. I can respond with a knockout. We'll just Steven's Resolve for Magnezone. We have the Rare Candy, which is good. And if we do get KO'd, we can just do Sun's Eclipse, so we don't really need to do much else. I might just get another Magnemite. No, we'll grab a Nest Ball so we can thin. And I guess we'll grab... Might just get another Metal Energy. 
Just so I can have fun. Just in case it doesn't knock me out, we can go for a power blast here and just hit him pretty hard. Like, I mean, I guess. I don't really see any problem with that. But if he knocks me out, we don't need the metal energy. But, you know, I feel fine with that. Who? I mean, here's the thing. You take two years with your Steven, and then they judge you and march out of you. But I feel like he doesn't have Magnezone. He didn't even do a Lily turn one. Do I guess he retreated? I don't know, like... I mean, to be fair, Ribombi's a big, big thing to have in these type of decks, so... It's probably really important my opponent retreated, because he probably wants Ribombi more than he wants... Oh, he has to turn to Magnezone. Okay. Does he have it? No, that is not for a Magnezone, that's for a Ribombi. That's pretty good. I mean, to be fair, this guy could have a rare candy mang zone in hand. Never mind, okay, good. <laughs> I was gonna say, that'd be a little ridiculous. But we should be okay, as long as it doesn't hit rare candy mang zone. I could probably retreat and knock him out, too. Might as well just do that. Let's see. Does he find it? He's gonna nest ball, probably for another Magnemite. Or another Dustmane. Dustmane would be smart. Nope, Dialga. Dialga might be an issue. I'd have to actually watch out for Timeless, since it does one-shot Dialga here. I think we just knock him out with Dustmane. I think that's the better play. It's gonna be a bit of a Dialga war. I wouldn't mind having a Dialga GX in stack either. It just goes for the theme. We drew an energy, so yeah, I kind of regret grabbing the energy. I might just get another Dust Main down. If I'm like, I know Magnemite's important, but I feel like I, I don't know. But uh, we will KO him here, which is good. We'll just retreat, go into Dust Main, and uh, we'll just Magnetic Circuit and Mount Coronet first. Don't forget. So yeah, we'll do Magnetic Circuit. Now if he wants to KO me, he's gonna have to commit to a Timeless Play and a double... He's stupid. Okay. I forget you have to keep clicking and attaching. That's a little annoying. But yeah, he's gonna have to commit to a Timeless Shred Play if he wants to knock me out here, which I'm fine with. I'd rather that than him KO my Dialga with Timeless GX. That's actually really good. We have another Metal Energy. We have the Fisherman. So it doesn't really matter where we put this. Um... Maybe I hold on to it in case we draw Guzma or something? I don't know. Might as well hold it. It's not really going anywhere. And we'll just knock him out. Oh yeah, it is important I hold it. Yeah, because then I can just mount Cornet. Okay, whatever. So see- Hey, he concedes! Alright, well there you go. We didn't really get to use Dialga, but we're not against a deck that we really needed that much. We have to play against, like, a Gardevoir deck. I mean, if we play against Gardevoir Swampert, I- I mean, that's almost the auto win. I don't really see how we lose to Gardevoir Swampert. I mean, we can beat matchups like Gardevoir Swampert. Zoark should be okay as long as we keep consistent with Dialga. So, I mean, overall, we can beat those matchups. Zoark, Swampert, Gardevoir. Decidueye might be a bit of an issue if they go Dartrix. We can't really do the extra 20, I guess. That's the only other issue. But, I mean, there's not really any... There's not many, like, stage 1s I can think of either that have 70 HP. Hopefully we're going to play against a bunch of evolution decks, so that'd be a little annoying if we didn't. Because it, like, defeats the whole purpose of this deck. We are going to win the coin flip. Uh, we might be against a Sogaleo deck, or a Steelix Mill. That Steelix Mill would be a little, a little unfortunate. I think we can still beat it, though, to be honest with you, but just gotta hope we're not actually against Steelix Mill. Alright, thank you. We are playing against a Metagross deck, which is good, because we have turn back time. That's all we need. You have a very good turn one hand, too, thanks to Nest Ball and Stevens. So this is pretty good. Pretty good opening hand. We'll see what we can do, obviously. Hopefully we get to use more Dialga. As long as we get to use Dialga at least once in this video for, with turn back time and get, like, a really big play with that, that's all I care about. I care about more than that than, like, just de a dust main war, you know? Okay, so we're gonna draw an extra card, which is good. We drew a lady, that's nice. And alright, nice. He's playing a 60 HP Beldum, which is what we want to see. We'll grab Magnemite. We'll attach. And we'll play Steven's Resolve for Magnazone, Rare Candy, and we have Lady, so I might as well just get like another Magnemite down. Try and get multiple Magnazones going. Just so I can guarantee. Like, if one goes down to, like, a Giga Hammer or something, we can always have another one for later. 
because Magnezone can lose. Just because you have like easy one shots with turn back time, you still have to worry about Magnezone getting KO'd. It's Magnezone is the heart of the deck. I will actually have to see if he judges me. That is a joke. That is a serious joke. All right. Hopefully, we still get rare candy Magnezone. Nope. Be nice to have a Magneton, but whatever. A little frustrating he had that, not gonna lie. This guy hit double bell them off that, are you serious? Come on. Wait, come on, luck. Don't tell me this guy's luck is through the roof. It's kind of annoying. He probably only plays one judge too, so it's like he just happened to have that in the hand. I decided to play that. That's a little frustrating. Alright, well Cynthia. Hopefully we hit Rare Candy Magnazone. We do not. To be fair, we're slowly building ourselves up, which is still good. Um So it's fine. Yeah, we can get rid of that, it doesn't really matter. And I'm just gonna pass. Don't really need to play Dustmane. He probably knows I have it. I'm playing Magnezone, it's pretty obvious, but I'm gonna hold it. Sun's Eclipse can always be a big player against Metagross. As long as we survive the turn, we should be good. But uh, that was a little bit of an annoying judge. I can't believe he actually had that in his opening hand. And he got a Lele and double bell them off of a judge, bro. You have to be serious. You, you have to be kidding me, man. That. Not believe that that doesn't happen. That does not happen. Seriously. Oh, that's a pain in my side. That is a serious pain. Our hand's pretty bad too. If we lose Dialga, in the f I mean, pff, not looking good. I mean, this deck can get screwed over pretty bad by Judge. And again, we only have like six ways to like use draw supporters. I don't know what's prized. We'll see. If he gets the knockout, uh, I mean, we gotta pray that we draw, like, a Cynthia and then pull off, like, a, a Magnus, like, a Dialga knockout, so it's not over, but we'll have to see. If he doesn't knock me out, we can start turn-backing the time and getting some KO. Sadly, I can't really Guzma. Like, I'd like to Guzma, knock out a Beldum here. I can't do that unless I draw American Magnus. But that's not gonna happen, because I can only draw one piece. I guess we can still swing Lele for 60 and then knock it out with Power Blast. Yeah, this is kind of where the deck falls apart. I'm, I think I have to put this guy down now. This is a little unfortunate. We can at least hit him for 60. Get some damage on him. We can knock him out next turn. Yeah, we can KO him next turn, I guess, which is pretty good. He's not going to knock me out either. I mean, Lele's such an easy prize, it's not really a big issue. Beast Energy is going to be huge in this matchup, by the way. We can take a Sun's Eclipse KO on a Metagross, and then we can take a knockout with Meteor Tempest with the Beast Energy. Take four prizes, KO Lele. That could be one way we can try and win the game. We just need to get Magnezone. If we get Magnezone online, we're good. We just got to draw out of this. I really don't want to lose to bad draws. If I draw my fourth Mount Coronet, it's probably a wrap. Depending on if this guy gets any Matangs down. Matangs also a problem, because it does not have 60 HP. So, there's a bit of a problem there. That judge really... I can't believe that guy actually had judge in his opening hand. And then off the judge, he may happens to hit double bell them in a lele. Like, what are, the, what are the odds? Not very high, but... This guy just wants to... I guess. I don't know. It's stupid. It's really stupid. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. To be fair, I could also just keep Lele alive and just knock out a Beldum, and I might do that. Oh, he didn't even attack me. He ain't playing, and I feel bad. We have a one retreat comes right? Yeah, I feel bad, but I don't feel bad at the same time, because I am going to take advantage of this Guzma while I still have it. Like, I can knock out Lele, take two prizes, or I can start picking off his Beldums. I mean... I guess it doesn't really matter. Might as well take the two prizes. We do technically need to hit a Magnezone or something. Getting two prizes does increase the odds of getting out of this kind of a dead hand. So I guess this is the better play. Overall, it would have been nice to KO a Beldum. And there's a Cynthia. And there's an Ultra Ball. Beautiful. So yeah, that paid off. I yeah, I guess I should have targeted the Lele the whole time. I did want to target a Beldum, but it doesn't matter. I could do it next turn anyways, even if, like, <laughs> if he doesn't KO me. It doesn't look like he's playing. I'm going to win another game. This is what maybe the third video in a row now where my opponent has didn't don't they don't play and I just end up winning because they're not playing. That's a little unfortunate, but whatever. 
I mean, it's the edge I need, and I'll take the free win any day of the week. I might cut out a bit of this, depending on how boring it gets. Because you know he's not playing, so it's like, you know, what can you do? Probably this Ultra Ball, get rid of our top deck, get rid of a Mount Coronet. Let's see what we do. I hope he plays. I really do hope you know he can. Okay, yeah, at, least, at least it wasn't drawn out. At least it was not drawn out. We got 50 coins. We got enough to get a pack. Might as well get a Lost Thunder pack. Really, all I need is Blacephalons and Ninetales, because I can trade off one of my Ninetales for something good. Or, another Zeror would be nice, because I am looking into making a Zeror video soon, or a Full Art Elms lecture <laughs> would be good. <coughs> Sorry, I still have a bit of a cough. Alright, so let's see. What do we get? Shaman. Pretty bad. Pretty weak sauce. Alright guys, let's do another match. I want to do matches against Evolution Heavy decks. I don't want to be playing against stuff like Vika Ray and Buzzgarb Shrine. Because I want to at least see how the deck would do against an Evolution deck. And I have yet to find a good matchup against one. So I'm just going to technically cherry pick my matches until I find one. But come on, this, this video would be kind of wasted if I don't actually Dialga turn back time. So, yeah. We'll see what we're up against. Bunch of different types, so could be anything. We do have a nice turn to Magnazone, and we got a pretty good Lily opening start too, which is nice. Sorry, but Lele is unfortunate, but whatever. Depending on how this goes, it might be better to start with something that's not really doing much, anyways. But Lele, I guess, is fine. You know, we do have Energy Drive. Giratina. Okay, I guess we're up against Mali. Another non-evolution focused deck. I mean, Malamar would be one shot with turn back time, but this is such a back and forth matchup. But I think we have to just keep hitting the active. So once again, no evolution heavy decks, so that's a little unfortunate. I really hope we find a match against one, because this video would be pointless if we didn't. This video would be very pointless if we didn't, so yeah. Okay, so let's see, he's gonna Ultra Ball, getting rid of Guzman Ultra Ball. We got a Tapu Lele. Okay, he's probably in a Lily. As long as he doesn't play Marshadow or Judge, we can probably get away with whatever we do with Lily here. Hopefully. A little unfortunate that we are not up against an evolution deck. I, we'll see. I could, honestly, if it comes down to it, I might just ask someone on my game. Just be like, hey, can I have a match against you? And can you please play an evolution heavy deck? Don't play something. Like, I don't know. I just want to at least have a game where we get to use a lot of turn back time. Because, again, this video would feel really pointless if we didn't. I mean, I guess one-shotting the Malamars is good with the Alga, but, like, still, like... Does it make a difference? No. To be fair, though, this is actually a fair, a pretty solid matchup overall. We do have a nice resistance to Psychic. So, we're actually pretty tanky here, which I kind of like. I'm just going to play that down so we can Lily for extra cards. So, we get a Magnemite is good, and we'll just pass. Pretty good hand. We could probably knock out Giratina with Lele if we really need to. You kind of see why the bench protection Beldum's better. He might get a flying flip off this turn. Looks like he is. That's amazing. Well, we'll see, actually. Nope. Taint Lies is probably just going to switch, actually, right? Yep. Yeah, this is why I said we probably want to be playing the other Magnemite. I guess the 20 damage isn't that relevant. It kind of is, though. I don't know. It's a little annoying. <sighs> okay, so let's see what we draw. Hopefully we can draw an attacker here. No, we do a Mount Coronet. I guess that's good discard bait. So we'll Ultra Ball. Probably just get rid of the metals. Um, either I grab the... Oh, how much do we really need to do with Lele here? The only problem is we can get... KO by Shadow Impact. I am not trying to have that happen. Probably better try and just tank with Dialga. We need to find four energies, though, to knock him out. Oh, no, I need to get Magnazone. That's right, derp. Actually, I could have ended pretty badly if I didn't grab Magnazone. I guess we can try and knock him out Magnazone, too, I guess, if it really comes down to it. I don't know if I want to do that, though. I can grab Lady and just knock him out with Zap Cannon. And I can't get KO'd by Giratina because of that resistance to Psychic. I feel like that's a fine enough play. 
We have our candy. We can always get Magnazone or like a something off the top deck or prize. Let's grab all the energies. Okay, so. We can now come out with Lele if we really also wanted to, which I don't hate either. Like, Lele can knock out Coco. But again, we will probably get knocked out by Shadow Impact. I don't really want that to happen. Though, to be fair, I don't want Magnazone to go down. So, you know, maybe this is... Maybe it is better to knock him out Lele and then just hope he doesn't KO me in return. That's probably going to have to be our best call. How many energies are we going to need here? Three, so 60, 80, 100. Just need, okay, just one more energy. I mean, Lele is doing a lot of damage here, so... We could probably steamroll Lele for a bit. I am a little way. The problem is, if I hit him with Magnazone, he drops a spell tag, and he hits me with Giratina, we'll lose our Magnazone to spell tag. I don't like that. I think it's better just let Magnazone not attack right now. Gas choice ban, so be it. it won't be the, it's not gonna be the end of the world if we get knocked out. I should probably just pre-attach to Lele just in case he like judges or marsh out of me so I can at least have a way to retreat and then I can still hit the energies I need to KO Giratina. But we're hitting good numbers. Zap Cannon, Dialga, Dustmane. So Giratina should be going down. He could KO me though with a Necrozma GX. That could be a little scary. Ooh, he does have a judge. Good thing it's gone now. Probably only plays one. Oh, he's actually going for it. Wait! He's got no psychics to discard. Never mind, that's not even gonna happen. Unless out of nowhere this guy has like such, some like weird shuckle trick up his sleeve, but I doubt it. Worst case scenario, he hits me for 160, knocks me out, or spell tags me. Ooh, that DC means we can just knock him out with energy drive, which I'd be fine with. And yeah, he's just gonna shadow impact me. He has to have something for 40, which is good, you know. Something like Lele could definitely be a good target for Dialga. Oh, or he can hit his active. I kinda see why he did that. Okay. We still cannot find any other attackers. I think we have to do Cynthia here. We really need to get an attacker, like a Dustmane or Dialga. Okay, we got both. That's good. I might just hold the hand again. Oh, energy driver. We're doing a ludicrous amount of damage. 160. Hopefully we get energy off the prize. No, Dialga. He'll knock me out, and we'll try and Meteor Tempest him. I don't know if we have enough energy to pull that off, though. It's the only issue. See if he finds another DC here. <laughs> Not that, Layla. Get that off my screen. Oh, that card is so annoying. An Acrobike? Okay. Okay, this thing is going to be a pain in my side, and he does actually... He's going to knock out my Magnazone, probably. I... That is really frustrating. But to be fair, he can't knock out both Lele and Magnazone in one turn, which is actually pretty good. Though... He can KO both Magnemite and Magnazone. Thankfully, we don't have a Rare King Magnazone, so you can always just plop Magnemite back down. And I guess he'll fully heal my Lele, so... There's like a negative and a positive to this play. But then we get smacked by Prismatic Burst. Which is not fun. This card is unbalanced. Oh, he's actually just gonna knock me out. Oh, okay. That's actually really good. I'm actually glad he's not taking out the Magnemite and the Magnazone. I probably would have done that though, to be fair. But I'm not gonna complain because... That would have been worst case scenario. Lele was already going to go down anyway, so who cares? When I say this card is on balance, I don't mean it. I just say whenever I have a bunch of damage on the board and I see this thing come in play, I have a mini aneurysm slash heart attack slash stroke. We didn't find energy, which is really, really bad. Um, I guess we have to knock him out Lele again. I'm not a fan of that, but if we don't get knocked out by Necrozma, I guess this is fine. I do have to commit though to knock him out, which is a little annoying. We we can, we can draw we can draw a fisherman or something, which would be good. 
And plus, we will be able to Sun's Eclipse him, so we draw an energy, we can definitely swing the game a little bit. Doesn't really matter. I'm just going to play it down just in case. I was going to play this down, but he could just black ray me and get 300 damage on the board, and then at that point, Stretcher is all he really needs to win. No energy again! Do I actually have any energy prize or something? Like, I can't use Stevens right now. It's like, let's go in the early game. Not in the late game. But, uh, you know you're a G when you knock out a Tapu Lele with a Tapu Lele. I didn't really expect Lele to kind of be the MVP of this matchup, but yeah, this is why I really want to find a game where I can show off Dialga's attack. Okay, so he's going to probably knock me out with Prismatic Burst, and then we can get that nice Sun's Eclipse KO, assuming we can top deck an energy. Though, if we played a field blower, we could actually bump the stadium twice and then do double Mount Cornet in one turn. That would actually be really sick, but we can't do that. We just gotta hope we draw an energy or something that can get us an energy. Which, we do have pretty high odds, I'd say. It's not the end of the world. And getting the KO with Dustmate is really big. But we'll see if we hit it or not. I don't know if my odds are that high. And he technically only needs two prizes to win, so we could lose if he has another stretcher. It's kind of why, you know, you want to be taking stuff out with Dialga, we just can't get there. We don't want to be attacking with Lele, because it's such an easy prize. I dare he's going to black Raimi, but I kind of just hope he does, just so I don't have to worry about getting KO'd. And then I can just finish him off with Lele, Mount Coronet, and go pray for the best. Just need to find energy or top deck. I probably want to add another Lily or something to this deck. Ooh, we lost Stretcher. We could actually win now. Maybe that win condition is not on the board anymore unless he plays two Necrozmas or something. But he can't really do that anymore because, you know, Dustman could easily get KO'd next turn if he had, like, a Stretcher play, but maybe he doesn't now. That he got rid of Stretcher, so we could be okay. We could be safe. We might be safe, folks. Is this it? We really gotta hope. We don't draw an energy. We probably just straight up lose here. I'm actually not gonna bench the other Dustman in case he has a Guzma or something. Alright, let's see what we draw. Energy. Woo! There we go! Nice! Alright, now... The odds of us losing next turn aren't that low. He did get rid of a stretcher. I don't know if he's playing two or not. We gotta hope he's not playing two stretchers. And I, once again, I'm not gonna bench the dust main because I don't wanna get KO'd here by a Guzma. So we're just gonna let him have to try and hit the stretcher retreat KO, which I feel like might happen. I don't know why he got rid of stretcher there. There's a Sightseer. Sightseer is really good. We can dump, like, all these Stevens we don't need. Depending on what happens, we just need to find one energy we, we can do with Mount Coronet, I guess. But you get my point. Let's see if my opponent is able to win the game. He did get rid of a Stretcher already. I don't think he's playing Marshadow. He needs Stretcher and Energy to win the game here. Sadly, that 20 damage means he actually does just knock me out with three energies. So... If he finds the energy and the Stretcher, so be it. But he already got rid of a Stretcher. I don't know if he's playing two or not. It's gonna escape rope, okay. It doesn't matter what I bring up, but I'm gonna bring out Dialga anyways. We we probably win the game either way. It's gonna Lily. Alright, we should win here unless he has unless he hits stretcher off this Lily for two. Which not even that would win because guys out of the active, we can't use them. Oh, he's going for the hypnosis. Didn't consider that. Oh, shoot. Well, it doesn't matter than I went about up. Of course, I don't wake up. Alright. The Guzma of Dreams. Nope. Dang it. No Guzma. That sucks. Hmm. No way I can get it. Alright, whoa. Doesn't matter what I do at this point, does it? 
Might as well play Steven Dissolve. It's like we're gonna be stuck with our hand here. Doesn't matter what I grab, he probably has game. Again, he just needs like a good attacker and a, like a stretch or something. And if he plays two Necrozma's rip, Ooh, opponent can't play any Pokemon. Okay, never mind. So he can try Mecho me, I guess, but I already have Megas on play. So it does not matter, thankfully. I'm glad that's actually not going for a Marsh Shadows. We stay asleep here. That gives him another turn to potentially win the game with some, like, stretcher play. And that's game. All right. Pretty intense match. Not gonna lie. Kind of came down there with that hypnosis. But because of the beautiful Seamers result, we just do this. Sadly, no Dialga action, but I am going to make sure this next match is going to be a game where Dialga is used to its full potential. We need to turn back time. I don't even care if we turn back time once my opponent concedes out of salt. I will take it, because that's what it's about. But you can kind of see, Megazone Dust Ming is still putting work even in this new format we're in. So I'll catch you guys in a minute with another match. Alright guys, we're going to keep, I told you, we're going to find a match until we get to use that turn back time. That's kind of the point of this deck. It's more like fun with Dialga. So we got to find a game... Giddy's turn back time, and you know what? Since Guard of War Nine Tails won regionals, I'm hopefully expecting to play against some Guard Guardy Nine Tails. No, a fighting deck. Okay, don't really know what I'm in for. We'll see. I don't think this is Buzzwool though. To be fair, this might be something like Dawn Fan, but I don't even care. You know what? That's an evolution deck. I'll take it. I probably if I ran to Guard of War, they probably concede before I even get a knockout. It's like, oh shoot, metal. Like, how am I gonna beat that? So, I guess like something like Zork or like. Even something like Dawn Fan, if this is what we're up against, is probably what we want to be seeing, I guess. To, like, get a, at least a decently long match. We'll see. Lucario, oh, that's unfortunately into the 70 HP range, but whatever. We do get the good hand. We'll get rid of Sightseer, I think. Nah, maybe I should have kept that, but if I was going to keep anything, it was not going to be Sightseer. We'll attach. Steven's Resolve for Mana's own. Rare can Ooh, we prize two candies. Rip the dream. And I guess, like, just Lady to follow up. It's obviously not going to evolve, but follow with a knockout. I wish we had a Delmize, though, not going to lie. Like, one Delmize would be great. And he's playing the 7. You had to be playing the, the HP Rockruff and Riolu that we can't one shot. That's amazing. That's amazing luck. And he gets heads on Detect, bruh. Okay, how lucky can this guy get? Okay, well, we got the Magna Zone down, which is all that matters. Uh, I guess we'll play Cynthia. Could hold the hand. We'll be, I could have Lele'd, I guess, for Stevens again, too. So whatever, I think we'll be okay. Yeah, we'll be fine. Dust main. we can bump the Stadium. Um, pass. A little unfortunate, whatever. We're still gonna one shot him regardless with Meteor Tempest and stuff, so who cares? Double Tails. No, you gotta get double heads. Yeah, great. Okay, thankfully that Lucario can't KO my Magna Zone here, which is really, really good. The fact that he doesn't KO me in one shot with Aura Strike on my Magna Zone is nice. I need to get another Magnemite down ASAP. See, Magnazone is such a target here. It's like, yes, they see the Magnazone, they're like, ooh, shoot. Nest Ball? Okay, you know what? That's that's a Magnemite. I'm probably going to get a Rare Candy off the prizes, too, I'm going to be honest with you. So, we'll Magnetic Circuit. I didn't mean to play that. Oh, why? This is so tedious. You shouldn't have to attach, retreat. I might have just screwed myself over now because of that. Oh my gosh. Are you actually kidding me? Why do you have to click and do this, bro? That's that screwed up my Ah, oh, that I didn't mean to click that. I guess I have the fisherman, but I whatever. That's a little annoying. I really wish that wasn't the case, but this game likes to do that. It's a good thing he doesn't have another rock rough down, I guess. That's also pretty good. We're just knocking him out. It's really annoying though. I didn't mean to click that, because I gotta keep, I wasn't really thinking, right, it was so simple, you just click, 
click Magnezone again and again and again. Ooh, we didn't get rare candy. And it's like, uh, do I really want to do that? No. So, I kind of just lost my train of thought there. That's really... So let's see what he does. He's going to detect. Wow, he's getting really lucky. Okay, well, good thing he's not setting up a dangerous rogue. Probably want to steer clear of that. Yeah, that's fine. Well, Acrobike. Ooh. Ooh, that's rough. That's really rough. I kind of want to Guzma this turn, too. I honestly, like, I could just... I can hit this guy for 60, get damage on him now, and then I can fish him off of Dialga. That play would still be available. But we probably do need to get Magnazone. We probably need to get Magnazone gonna play this now just in case he like I guess brooklets or something I guess I can still do the Guzma play I don't want to put that many guys down but I there's like I highly doubt he's playing multi switch we could have prized the other Guzma but I guess if not we'll grab Steven's as well which works fine and then I guess I should have touched energy now we got Guzma might as well get damage on him. Then he's a target for Dialga, which is good. Kind of like that. I can also tackle him for 10. In a weird way, that's actually a decent idea. Because again, getting damage on him is still good. I guess he plays Ace Rolla, so at the end of the day, it probably doesn't really matter. Hurt still, though. Getting the 60 damage on could be big if he doesn't like Ace Roll or something. And then if he doesn't heal that, it's an easy target for Dialga. <coughs> oh, it's just gonna pass. Alright, let's see. Drew Mount Coronet. And this game is basically a wrap. I don't really like how it's a Dust Maiden at Crosma show. But whatever. Alright, can we get rare candy out the prizes? No, we got Lady. Lady's pretty good if I need to take a big swing. Dialga, I guess, sure. Yeah, we're fine with Mount Coronet. Just knock him out, I guess, with Meteor Tempest. Unfortunately, not really do Again, we're not even doing much turn back time. Not, I don't like this. I want to be seeing Zoark, but we're not using turn back time that much. We got Nest Ball, we got a Fisherman. I can work with that. We probably win anyways if he doesn't. Like, even if he evolves, goes Lucario, hits me. Does not matter, we'll win the game, probably. We have the lady, yeah, as long as, like, to be fair, he could have an insane combo to kill me, but no, never mind, he could, I was like, choice band down, see, QE, maybe? But because we have lady, you know, we're good. Just lady for the extra energy, and then just knock him out with Meteor Tempest. Not really liking how Dustmane is kind of like the star here, but whatever. Wow, this guy's getting, okay, you know, this game is dragging on a bit, but I don't really care. Does not matter, I play that. It's gonna play Dialga down. Again, doesn't really matter, I don't think. Um, can't bump the stadium. Um, To be honest, I think passing is maybe the best play. I could. I can Ultra Ball 2, Thin, grab Magnezone, Lily, hope I hit the rare candy. I, I wouldn't hate that. How many? Yeah, whatever. I'm just gonna pass. I guess I could have grabbed Magnus on there. Done Lily, Pride I got Drew Rare Candy, but I'm okay. I don't think we're getting KO'd. And again, there's no... There might be a Guzma threat, but again, I, f I feel okay. This is like a weird matchup for Dialga. You don't actually even want to be turn back timing this thing because of that attack or strike, so... The game does not want to give me a turn where Dialga is useful. A game where Dialga is useful. It's a little frustrating. Alright, so he's going to judge me. But that is not really any way to kill Magnezone. There's no rock off in play right now. Because we drew Mount Coronet, that should seal up the game here. Yeah, he's going to Cyclone Kick. We should have the game. Let's see what we draw. There we go. Uh, once again, no Dialga action. Really unfortunate. Maybe Dialga's just not needed. I don't know, like... I've tried. I did find a game against a Garvor deck, um, but like, once they did Elm's Lecture, and then I just, like, I had to play Dialga down to defend something so I can at least, like, not get killed. 
like unfortunately they just immediately conceded so like we're not able to get much Dialga action in which is really unfortunate I was really hoping Dialga would just put in some work against the devolution decks but try to stick up for yourself I think I am gonna wrap this PC Joe video here guys I don't want to be leaving the video short on the Dialga but just couldn't find a match where we needed it and that really does stink but we'll wrap today's piece of video here if you enjoyed make sure you leave a like don't forget to subscribe to the road to 4k subs once again thank you to joe for sending me his list again make sure to follow his twitter and subscribe to his youtube channel in the description down below thanks for watching the video we couldn't find much dialga action because every time i found a game where dialga was good either my opponent wasn't playing cop cop metagross or if they're playing gardevoir they just immediately scoop the game because they see the metal and they're like, I can't be metal. So, a little unfortunate. Hopefully, we can do it down the road. We'll definitely be visiting this deck, I'm sure. But thanks for watching, guys. Catch you guys later. Goodbye.